Hi guys, hope you are doing well. Today I'm going to teach you about a magnesium metal and hopefully after that I'm going to demonstrate a small experiment how the metal react with acid. Look at that, magnesium is placed in group 2. Uh, I have already made a video on the sodium, now this time magnesium. Magnesium is present in group 2 or is placed in group 2. Group 2 elements are, are also called as alkaline, earth elements or earth metals, alkaline earth metals. They are available mostly in the earth crust okay now what are they beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium red on yep Are. okay magnesium has 12 electron so mg number of electron electron proton neutron number of electron 12 number of proton 12 24 that's the atomic mass of the magnesium this is the atomic number of the magnesium so 12 minus 24 minus 12 equals 12 neutron 12 electron 12 proton 12 neutron some books it is given as 24.3 i'm not including the isotopes just the magnesium metal okay now write down the electronic configuration of the magnesium 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 you can ask me a question sir why they are placed in group 2 look they have two extra electron in the outer shell this is the first shell that's the Suppose this is the nucleus, that's the first shell, first shell has two electrons. Now the second shell, it has eight electrons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the last one, the third shell has two electrons. So the outer shell has two electrons, that's why, that's why the magnesium is placed in group two. Group 2, mostly there are metals and we know that the reactivity increases down the group. It has two electrons, that's why they are placed in group 2. Magnesium is as block element, so we have S block, we have D block and a P block. Magnesium is as block element. Why sir? Look at that, these two electrons, when you start filling the orbitals, the last electron, which is called incoming electron, enter into S subshell. This is the P subshell. So P subshell is completely filled. Then when you move from uh, third energy level, this is the energy level, main energy level. One, two, three. That's my main energy level. It has a one S subshell, and that S subshell has two electrons. That's why they are placed in group two. Magnesium being a metal, it can give away two electron easily. Magnesium lost two electron. Mg give away two electron and Mg become Mg2 plus plus two electron. Loss of electron is called oxidation. This is oxidation. Metal, metal always give away the electron. The primary or the basic tendency of the metal is to lose the electron. What's the oxidation state of group 2 element? Plus 2. What's the oxidation state of group 1 element? Plus 1. That's the plus 1 for group 1. Lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, francium. Plus 1. Radioactive. Reactivity increases down the group. Reactivity increases down the group. Magnesium is a light metal, which is a light metal. Mg is a light metal. 
So mostly, uh, when metal react with oxygen, they form metal oxide. When you expose this magnesium into air, it reacts with oxygen and form metal oxide. MgO is not balanced, make it into half magnesium oxide, easily it form magnesium oxide. And magnesium, when react with the non-metal any P block element, it form ionic bond. So the type of bonding present has ionic bond. So metal and any non-metal, they can form ionic compounds. Now when a metal react with acid, what happens? So reaction of metal with acid, any metal with acid, metal with oxygen, they form metal oxide and in, the, in that oxide, metal get oxidized and non-metal get reduced. Okay. Now we will do one experiment, how the metal react with acid, how, what's the effect of the acids on the metal. Look at that, magnesium or any metal, first metals in general, Generally, metals, metals plus acid. What we will get? Any idea? We will get salt plus water. Sorry, salt plus hydrogen gas. Slow, salt plus H2 gas. Metals, metal plus oxygen. Metals plus oxygen. Metal oxides. Metal plus water. Metal plus water metal plus water we will get if the metal is from group 1 and group 2 we will get alkaline solution alkaline solution which is basic in nature plus hydrogen gas okay we will do this experiment today reaction of magnesium metal with acid and the hydrogen gas pop it up was the experiment of hydrogen gas when you make a puff or blow a flame uh, you will get a squeaky pop and the flame put it off let's see that experiment we can see some basic properties of metals metals when react with oxygen it form metal oxides in that metal oxide metal lost electron and non-metal gain electron so the type of the bond we can expect is the ionic bond. When you drop metal or when you drop a metal in water, it form alkaline solution and hydrogen gas liberated. I have done this experiment. Please watch my last video. Now we will see one more experiment. When the metal reacts with acid, you will get salt plus hydrogen gas. What is the test for the hydrogen gas? When you light it, a splinter and put it into the test tube, the splinter, the hydrogen gas comes out with a squeaky pop and the splinter puts off. Now, let's see that experiment. Now look, magnesium reacts with hydrochloric acid and form magnesium chloride, which is a salt and hydrogen gas liberated out we will do this experiment now uh, that equation is completely balanced look at that this is the magnesium strip i've already cut it into small pieces now guys uh, you have to be careful when you dealing with hydrochloric acid in the lab always you have to wear your gloves goggles lab coat that's my goggles lab coat safety is very important guys now it's a one molar hydrochloric acid is a strong though one molar is also a strong one and how I know this is the acid without looking to the label label is there look at the label it's the hydrochloric acid and a concentration is one molar normal and molar is the same thing 
we will do one small test with the pH paper. That's my universal indicator. When that universal indicator dip into HCl, little amount of the HCl, that universal indicator turns into, do you want to say which color it turns? It turns into red because HCl is a strong acid. So I'm adding a little bit of hydrochloric acid, small amount, and we have to use always proper equipment like funnel. Use funnel when you're measuring the acid or use measuring cylinder. Use the stirrer. Now, hydrochloric acid is, look at that hazard symbol, guys. This symbol tells you that it is irritant and corrosive. So be careful with the hydrochloric acid. Now, metal, magnesium metal, when react with acid, any acid, I have hydrochloric acid, that's why I'm using hydrochloric acid. It forms salt and the hydrogen gas liberated out. Let's see, theoretically, we know that. Let's see this experiment practically and can we prove hydrogen gas is coming out, okay? I have taken a small amount of the acid. Suppose I hide the label and I will ask you just test if this is acid or not. Can we test it? Yes, we can test with the help of the pH paper. I have the universal indicator pH paper. If I add that paper into the acid, it turns into a red color. Let's see whether it turns into red color or not. Let's see. The paper turns into red color. Look at that, guys. Immediately, it turns into red color because this is a strong acid. Yeah. That's the strong acid. Now, what we are doing today, magnesium reacts with hydrochloric acid and it forms magnesium chloride, which is a salt, and hydrogen gas coming out. To do this experiment, I think I need conical flask. I can't do this one in the beaker, in the small beaker, because hydrogen gas come out. I have to test that hydrogen gas with my flame. I want to introduce that flame with the hydrogen gas. For that, I need conical flask. Yeah, I want to get my conical flask. Yeah. And that's the 250 mil conical flask. Centimeter cube or milliliter. The same thing. 250 mil conical flask. I want to take uh, like 10 or 20 mil of the acid. And I have already cut small pieces of the magnesium ribbon so let's see when the magnesium ribbon added magnesium form hydrochloric acid magnesium react with the hydrochloric acid and it form magnesium chloride salt and hydrogen gas coming or liberated out just take 25 not more than that one look at that 25 i'm uh, it's not Accurate, approximately we can take 25, use funnel to avoid spillage. And I'm adding magnesium into that. Please tighten the lid and slowly I'm going to add magnesium pieces into the hydrochloric acid so that the hydrogen coming off we have to wait so it did not look at that yep so i will i will add all i will add all and let's check can we have a squeaky pop flame uh, the hydrogen gas coming out and the, the test for the hydrogen gas is squeaky off let i want to introduce my magnesium uh, introduce my flame have you heard the sound squeaky pop and the flame puts repeat that experiment once again when you add 
a small piece of the magnesium ribbon into the hydrochloric acid it form magnesium chloride salt and a hydrogen gas is liberated out or release so when you introduce that flame into the hydrogen gas that you will get a squeaky pop sound and the flame puts off let's see i want to quickly add all the magnesium ribbon into the acid and you can see that reaction there's still some bubbles coming out that bubbles are nothing you can see that that bubbles are nothing but hydrogen gas just now you have seen when metal react with the acid it form hydrogen it form um, salt and a hydrogen gas liberated out and you can get the uh, squeaky pop sound when and one more thing what's the test for the hydrogen gas the test for the hydrogen gas is, is that when uh, a flame is introduced to hydrogen gas we will get a squeaky pop just now you have seen and the flame puts off so we will, i will come back with one more metal of this uh, period three so in the period three we have sodium i have already made some video on sodium metal i have sodium in the period three so period one period one has period one has hydrogen and helium period two two has lithium and it in it continue till we have neon that's the group eight and third period third period we have sodium and we have gas. magnesium is a light metal what's the uses of magnesium you can use this magnesium means industrially magnesium is used as a light metal in the laptops or the luggages or the cameras one most important use of the magnesium is that magnesium is used to take away the impurities of iron ore iron is present in the form of sulfide ore fes so when magnesium react with fes you will get magnesium sulfide plus free iron pure iron this is the pure iron so that's the best use of magnesium and a magnesium when ignite in air it burns with a bright flame like a cracker so that magnesium is, is used in the cracker i will hopefully i will do that experiment burning of magnesium definitely that will be a beautiful experiment thanks for watching this video